flurrying. <laughs> got some lights, some hoses, extension cord for when we do get this going. I have a phone call in right now on getting the water turned on. So I'm just waiting to hear back on that. But this is where we're at right now. So my line is now in. Uh, backfilled, secured with my pressure plate and my testing gear is installed and ready to flush some water through with a bunch of valves. Working in the basement, like I said before, she's pretty, pretty tight quarters. So actually just got off the phone as well. Um, so the water is going to be turned on tomorrow. <laughs> They're gonna come test to make sure the valve is operable today, um, which I guess is the same thing that I'm already asking, but anyway. Oh, come on! Do you think I'm a gullah bull? Or even a gullah cat? They're, um, they're not gonna let me fill the line till tomorrow, so we'll be back tomorrow. I'm gonna go pick a fight. So, in the meantime, I do have a couple of guys coming down. They're going to give me a hand just putting a little bit of cold patch in here. The, um, the cut in the road settled quite a bit, so we're going to deal with that. Um, apparently the snowplow may have taken some of that cold patch down the road during that last snowstorm, so we'll get that topped up. I fixed the valve up that was sunk, and we'll get the box put on the service, the test line. So that that's ready and yeah we'll see what else we get up to today won't be this but we'll be back tomorrow is fixed up the boys did a good job there helping me they're uh, just gonna finish tamping around that box for the service tie-in and I'm gonna head off to check the next one Let's see what we need to do on it if anything Where's that guy that one? You guys going that way Go down the hill so like I said we'll wait to see what happens uh, tomorrow now when I get the water shut off and uh, we'll go from there we'll see if we can't get some water to that line it should be relatively pain-free although now that I say that I've probably jinxed it but um, it should be it should be because it's straight pipe going in there's not many joints it's only a four inch line um, so we'll see what happens tomorrow but I'm gonna go check that other one, like I said, and we'll be back tomorrow. Well, good morning. We're back. It's Tuesday. Yeah. Is it Tuesday? Wait a minute. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Um, <laughs> that's bad. So we're here again this morning on blowers. Um, we're gonna get this one turned on, hopefully, and see if we can hold some water. And then the pressure testing will start. Just installing the styrofoam in the box. 
So keep everything nice and insulated. Leave it like that now, we might lock out. Do you want to try it? Just pushed on it and it moved. Do you want to, you want to? Uh, what do you think? Is it? Oh, is we it... got the valve, I got the valve jam up in there right now. We took some of this side out of here, we might. Now, and I don't know if that's tightening because I'm jabbing it up against the bank. That's probably what's going on. Yeah, it's probably just hitting. Well, why not? Wouldn't you take an extra second and tighten that up one more tight? I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Uh, and this is the stuff that I shouldn't have to check. No, like this is ridiculous. I mean, you can see I'm not taking much effort. No, 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 no that's pretty loose. That is very loose. All it's... right, well, let's abandon. I'll. Uh... Uh, that's, what, that's what's frustrating. I'll that. spend some time and I'll tear this all apart and I'll fix it. It's a lot of work tearing that all apart. I know, but what choice do I have? I can't obviously let anybody else do it because they don't f***ing do the job. Yeah, but that all this is going to be... I'm just going to have to tear wait it now, all wait, apart. Wait, wait now, but if we took that off there, off the valve there, and then turned that individually, we may not have to. But we can get a wrench on this and get a wrench to turn that off. We'll yeah, but we're this. gonna hit our valve on the bank. We're gonna hit our shut off. Oh, on this the bank. valve. Yeah, we're gonna hit all of it. Yeah, everything's gonna be unless we are able to open this up a little more. But then we're gonna have a hell of a mess here. Yeah, you need a five minute fix. No, know, it's huh? not a five minute fix. All right, I'm gonna tell Halifax Water we're gonna have to postpone until tomorrow. So. Less than ideal news. Um, yet again, another issue. <laughs> so I have Vern, he's gonna come down and give me a hand. We're gonna tear this apart and rebuild it. I sent Halifax water away and we'll go through this whole circus again tomorrow. That's my fault. I should have triple checked that pipe yesterday, but I assumed it should be good because I had a guy down here for half a day building it. Um, not sure why that got missed. Anyway, it is what it is. So we're gonna tear that apart and rebuild it and see what happens. All right, just leaving down here again. Um, just met with Vern, everything looks good. We did a good job. Everything's nice and tight. Triple checked everything. It's the way it should have been the first time. Anyway, so we will come back. We will reconvene this wonderful adventure that never seems to end tomorrow. And uh, see if we can't finally get some water in this line. So we'll see you then. So a little bit of a um, side project thrown in here on top of everything else the school board called and they had a manhole that was an emergency for them so I came out and fixed it earlier got it back in place but um, to fix it properly I'm probably gonna do it over March break when there's no kids here um, there's no asphalt plants open yet so I can't pave it so I'm just going to throw some coal patch around it tonight and give that a quick tamp to hold it until next week. And then we'll be back here to fix this one too. So let's get this cold patch in around this thing, give it a quick tamp, and then we will be out of here as well. <laughs>
just like that, it's done. Oh, I got dirty. I had to take my jacket off because I didn't want to get my jacket dirty. But it's cold. Um. Anyway, that'll hold it up for now. Until we can get in here maybe next week. I give them a price here tomorrow on maybe where asphalt's at a season. I'll probably quote up pouring a concrete apron around that just to help hold it in place for the rest of the season uh the snow plow keeps catching it so anyway the frame and cover is all good there's no issues so it's not like it really needs to be fixed it just needs to be secured better but see when the plow hits it on that weird angle it's popping it up out of the out of the the groove for the manhole the frame and grate so it pops it up and creates a huge issue for the school because it's right in front of the school so can't have that anyway on that note i'm going to get out of here warm up and we'll see you tomorrow morning hopefully on blowers where we finally put some water to that thing <laughs>